Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Okay guys, I got Oh yeah, I'm gonna do one of these wings today. It was way too late before I got these uh this done and got the part all on. You know I don't like to start anything big after twelve o'clock noon because I'll be up all night. <laughs> If I would have did that one too, man, it would have been three in the morning. <laughs> and I don't, didn't want to do that because I would have had to do it in the stages. Because I can't work on them both at the same time. You know, put glass on them, so I had to get this one ready. Or put my uh, first surface coat of surface coat on this. And wait two hours and then put a coat on that. Because we don't want this stuff setting up too much uh, when you could put the glass on you know because it's got to stay it's still a little wet now it's not ready for cloth but you want it you want to be able to put your finger to it and be sticky with nothing sticking on your finger you guys missed that finger <laughs> you can go in a minute we won't tell nobody <laughs> <laughs> All right, <clears throat> but you want it sticky with nothing sticking to your finger. Uh, that way you won't have uh, lamination if issues because once it sets all the way up, it's too smooth and shiny, and you just won't get that good bond. And without Calvin here helping, uh, I didn't want to get them both ready. I'd been up all night, but. Uh, what I'm going to do is get some cloth ready. I'm going to start out with three quarter ounce. Okay, now the three quarter ounce is mainly for these little areas like that little nub. I want to put it in, you know, the corners. Uh, work because it goes in the corners nice, really deep, and you won't end up with no voids in the corners. And on little stuff like that, I ain't going to need a whole lot of three quarter ounce. Just in uh just the corners is all I want to do all the corners everything I'll cut pieces different sizes uh, from real small to uh, five inches by three you know Bye. the old peach cutter out oh, no thanks. but I get this cloth, don't tell Mark and Associated. <laughs> Guys, when I get this cloth at Thayercraft. T-H-A-Y-E-R uh, Thayercraft.com Okay. Uh, this stuff is cheap there, man. It's the cheapest class I've ever seen. And it's free shipping. And I can order, I can order something today. And he ships it same day. And it's usually here in two days. And uh, the price is right. Don't tell Mark. <laughs> he gives me a good deal, but their craft is just uh, the cheapest cloth I've ever seen. Okay, I got my feet covered and a little bit cut. That's going to be funny. Now we can fold her up. And just do this. And then we need some, we need some of them pretty small, so it takes part of these here. You guys watch it? What are you guys watching? Yeah. I'll take this, and I'll cut this one up, and it pieces. Okay. 
Then I got some pork burn. Ain't a banana, got a heartburn. Never got a heartburn from a banana before. Here's my lunch. Where do I have some lunch? Oh, hot dogs. <laughs> A couple of them big old quarter pound hot dogs for lunch. I love them hot dogs, old beef. As long as it's beef hot dogs, I'll eat them. I like them very big ones. I'm gonna stack them up. Small ones and put over here. But yeah, guys, going to be an exciting season. Remember that movie studio? They want me to build something else. And it is way cool, man. It's going to be way cool. And I want to make some videos. I wish I could afford a good camera now, but I can't. I can't spend my dang grocery store money on my cell phone. I should have my new phone tomorrow. So anyone out there, I'm not avoiding your calls. I really ain't. But I, I'll have my new phone tomorrow. They're overnight. Then. Okay. I can put my three-quarter ounce away. That's all I'll need on that. And then I got my three ounce. I'll do the same thing, little pieces and then great big one and cover the whole thing with a couple layers of three, uh, three ounce. Then I got my big 10 ounce. I got another brand new roll over there. And uh, I'll, uh, it needs six, seven layers of 10 ounce. I'm out of my heavy stuff. But, uh, there. I got enough heavy stuff to do my edges. This is a 40 ounce and I'm going to do the edges in this heavy stuff. You can look down a little bit. And, uh, me and Wes found a good way to do that. I just cut that just almost close, half inch too long. I'll put some paper down on the table. And we just brush it here and then put it on. And it's fast and easy, man. But, uh, and also, I'm gonna get my cougar going. See that big old cougar I bought? Okay, this is there one thing? This thing is huge. But, uh, the wings were kind of damaged. But, man, you wouldn't believe how I fixed them things. See them raised panel lines right there? These had two big old gashes in the wings. It uh, came down in a cornfield, <coughs> and uh, they replaced the fuselage. But the wings were kind of fixable. See, this, these are were repaired, and they did an awesome job repairing them. And uh, oh, Tony Quest from Arizona repaired them, and they just needed finished. You see. But what I did is I put me some, put a piece of tape down, two layers of masking tape, use my spreader, spread the bondo, then I'll come in there and sand that, pull my tape off, bam, it just, it then uh, kind of sand it a little bit, sand that sharp edge off, then I'll put some primer on it, then I'll come back in here and put my panel lines. I got to put over in my rivets. I'm going to use a uh, Dremel this time. And not burn them in because I got to make them match. So, uh, but the fuselage is all pretty much done. I'm going to make a new stab because I don't want Kevlar hinges in the elevators because I've heard of people having problems with them. But uh, I think they patched up real good. This had two big old places in it one right here, I think, and another one out here. And, Shoot, that looks good, man. I was real surprised because I checked on a new set of wings. They want $1,500.
plus 300 shipping. Almost two grand. So these are Air World. Comes from Germany. You want $300 for shipping. <laughs> oh, man, that's $1,800 to fix them wings. <laughs> and then, you know, they would, they were it was repaired really good. And I want to get that finished. And because uh, the fuselage is all done, guys, I mean, it's ready to paint. Uh, speed brakes are all done, gear doors are all done, landing gears in it. And uh, it's pretty much ready to paint. And I just got to fix them wings, but I'm going to take and uh, make some new stabs just out of foam and sheet them and do my, you know, them raised panel lines like I did on there. And uh, get that thing fixed up. And, oh, remember that little Mustang, guys? I've been working on that, too. That's almost done. I need to show you guys that. Uh, I don't want to get it out of here now. i got wet resin. But uh, maybe tomorrow before I get started. I'm sure Chris would like to see it. It's all painted. I just got to put the graphics on it. Oh, and it came out nice, man. It really looks good. And what else? So it's going to be kind of an exciting season, guys. I want to get some of this, uh, get these wings, get a set of wings laid up. And because remember, I don't, I got my fuselage already done. And then, uh, lay up a few more of them. And, uh, bust out some a force. I can't wait to get mine flying. You know, I like to make force. But that's what I got rolling today. I might make you a little another video when uh, I get putting some cloth on right after Big Brother. <laughs> after Big Brother, I'll be ready for some cloth. So I take I got my got my brush right here. See, it's still it's still see the black on my finger. Not ready yet. Not ready. That's what I got going. And uh, I'll make some more videos. I'll keep you guys filled in. This camera will upload. Let's hope that last video took two hours. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, uh, I'll be back. I'll be back with some more videos. Bam, I'm first, baby.